hey my baby dolls welcome back to my channel i know it's been like a little bit of a while and you guys probably been wondering why i haven't been uploading any videos i believe it's been like some week like a week or some days or so so here i am i am back i just wanted to you know just turn on my camera today because i feel like i haven't been working in like a long time and i just wanted to just simply do my makeup on camera and just talk to you guys about like what's been going on where my head has been just be more interactive with you guys and sharing my thoughts and things like that with you all today so i am just gonna be doing my makeup while i talk you guys show me so much support and i just be feeling like i need to just come on here and just talk about things so <laughs> It's just lately, I've just been, like, not in the right set of mood. Like, I've been very, I don't want to say depressed. I'm not depressed or anything. I just feel like I'm, I just needed, a, like, a, a mental break, like, from everything. And I don't know. I just, I haven't been feeling inspired by anything. Like, I've just been feeling, like, just very, just blah. And I don't know why. I just haven't been in the right set of mind and i just feel like if i was to get on camera that you guys would probably feel the energy and i just didn't want you guys to feel like that type of energy like oh like something's wrong with her like i can tell like she's not really in like a great place where i just don't sound like i regularly sound on camera where i'm just you know happy and talking to you guys i just didn't want to be like that so I kind of just took a break for myself. I know you guys are very understanding. A lot of you guys are super understanding. You guys understand um, about a lot of things of why I need to take a break. And just needing some time to yourself is important. So I know you guys are going to understand me. And some people probably is not. But hey, whatever. I just been feeling like super lost. I don't know why. Like I know what type of content that I want to do on my channel and I know the things that I want to do with, with my channel and I have so many videos in mind that I can't wait to share with you guys but it's been days where I feel like I something is missing like I don't know I don't know if you guys ever feel like that with whatever that you do you know I just feel like with my channel like something is missing and I'm just like I'm over like I don't know, I just feel like I need a fresh new start. Like, I just always felt like, I don't know, maybe. Like, sometimes I be feeling like I just need, like, just, um, like, a break from everything. Responsibilities, just everything. I just want to just get away from social media because social media can be so draining. Like, people are so annoying on social media. It's ridiculous. And I'm not talking about you guys. I'm just talking about just... Sometimes when I'm just scrolling on Instagram, it's just a lot. People have their opinions on stuff. When you ain't ask them for their opinion, you have like these trolls on Instagram that want to comment and say slick stuff and it's just be like, for what? Like, you're behind the screen, sis. Like, you probably wish that you was doing what I was doing. So, you want to like leave smart remarks about my makeup or this and that. I don't care so let's just get that straight but it's just like people are really sick and it just makes you fucking sick like oh my god like you just need like a break from everything I think I think so much about my channel like sometimes I'm, I'm a very overthink overthinker like I overthink everything and I have to calm myself down sometimes and realize like everything is gonna be okay like like, everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay with your channel. You're still growing. And I think what always I have a fear of is, like, me not growing anymore. Like, as a person, as a beauty influencer. And I don't know. I just have that. I don't know. I have that anxiety. It's weird. So, I just try to to stay on the right track with my videos and I try to 
make sure that I'm posting something that you guys like. I don't want to get boring. I feel like I've said this before. Like if you, I've said this before on my channel where I'm scared to get boring. But I'm not a boring person. And that's what I have to realize. Like I'm that bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm not boring. I'm not a boring person. So I can't be boring. Like it's impossible for me to get to that point. You know. And I have to believe in myself that everything will continue to grow. And I, I have to literally, I have to thank God when I woke up this morning and really come to the realization like, damn, I have really grown within a year. Like my channel has really flourished. My Instagram has really flourished. And I remember when I was at like 3,000 followers on Instagram and I felt like nobody was seeing my work. I felt like nobody was like really interested in what I was putting out and I knew I was such this creative person and I knew like you know I don't have to cry <laughs> because I'm very emotional so bitch <laughs> don't be you know like this just is don't be like is this bitch really fucking about to fucking cry like this bitch can't be fucking gonna cry but oh child who fucking knew? Hold on. Let me get myself together. Now I'm getting red and I'm trying to do my face. Uh. But anyway. <clears throat> so. Okay, so I remember it was a time when I was trying to do this YouTube thing. And I just kept feeling like nothing was fucking working. Like, the people that I, that was following me at that time, I just felt like it was, nobody was paying attention to my craft. Nobody took me serious. Um, and, you know, that was my only platform to promote myself was Instagram. Uh, I started to get a Facebook, but I never really cared for Facebook. I just made it just, you know, for promoting myself. And... I don't even, I'm not even on Facebook no, no more, but that didn't work because I don't like Facebook. But anyway, so Instagram and Snapchat was basically my only resort to promote myself. And I was at 3,000, 3,000 or something following. And I was like that, I was there for a very long time. And, you know, nowadays it's just like you have to have this certain clout. Like you have to have this certain following for people to follow you and to take you serious, which is so fucked up. And I felt like I wasn't taken serious. And people really didn't understand YouTube. People that followed me didn't understand like what I was doing. And I didn't feel like people was really subscribing. The people that was following me on Instagram wasn't subscribing to my channel. But the new followers that I started to get, they were coming from YouTube. Like the new followers that I have now, I feel like came from my YouTube channel like you guys seen my work and started following me from YouTube and it's just so crazy how everything just started happening so fast and you know I just prayed and prayed like I just kept praying like you know like I don't want to keep being in the same place it started to get draining like I just felt like it was no room for me no one i just felt like i was just such an outsider like no one seen me and i know i knew my work was good i had faith in myself and that's what i try to talk to you guys about because i get so many messages i get so many messages and dms and questions about like how did you start like um give me advice and i always feel for every single last message just because i was at that place i felt like I don't have, you know, I, I don't have um, the following, like, for people to see me. Like, I just feel like everything was blocked. Like, hello, I'm trying to reach the level. Like, hello, hello, you see me? You see me? I'm here. Follow me. You know, not even just a follow. It's just when you're on social media you want to be like any once you're on social media you're like a public figure i'm a public figure now because i have such a such so many people watching now and so many people you know seeing me now you know what i'm saying like every day i'm growing so 
if you want to be an entrepreneur on YouTube, it, it takes a lot. Nowadays, people are making money on social media. It can be so, so hard and draining trying to make money on social media. Being an entrepreneur, doing this YouTube thing, it's hard, it's hard work. Like you have to continue to keep going even when you feel like, like no one is seeing your growth. And a lot of people always ask like, how did you do it? Like, how did you grow so fast? In the beginning, I can say it took, it was going slow. <laughs> it, went, it was going slow. Like I, it wasn't, it wasn't what you thought. Like it was, it was, I felt like it took forever. But I will say like once um, I started, um, I really wasn't doing too many makeup reviews. I was doing more mostly hair reviews. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people on YouTube, uh, women on YouTube, like to see affordable hair, especially synthetic wigs. And that's what I started with. Like, I wasn't doing human wigs reviews. I was doing, like, synthetic hair because that's all I knew. I wasn't wearing human hair when I first started YouTube. Like, I just started... A year ago wearing human wigs I was doing everything synthetic and um, I wanted to show like how you know I maintain my synthetic hairs and how to be beautiful still without buying bundles and you know spending a hell of money on human hair when you can look good with synthetic and I just wanted to be a person that to show like you can look good you know and still be affordable I feel like that's where um my following came in honestly I feel like from doing my wigs and a lot of people was you know be like you know we ready to see makeup like your makeup is always always on point like do makeup tutorials and then that's when like of course makeup tutorials is something that like I wanted to do but I feel like my synthetic wigs really put me on a different scale like that's when people started to follow me and would thank me for doing reviews like that because you know a lot of women don't have can't afford to spend money on human hair it gets expensive that kind of like took me where I am now and you know I already was doing the makeup tutorials but synthetic wigs is what kind of like um brought me an audience you know I of course I already had makeup in mind to do like that's what I wanted to do before wigs <clears throat> and um I started to do the makeup tutorials and it just went crazy because in my synthetic hair reviews people were just like we want to see more makeup we want to see more makeup your makeup is always always on point I did more I started to do more makeup tutorials and that's what took me like fast like I started to gain like a thousand subscribers a day and um it was just growing and growing i'm like oh my god oh my god and then that's when i'm like okay i need to do a intro video and then i did my intro video um i don't know if you guys know but i stopped using that intro video because the song started to to get like the intro the instrumental that i was using started to get like a copyright claim and i don't got time for copyrights so i stopped using that intro i am working on doing a new intro video that's gonna be so ooh, sexy like i can't wait to do this new intro video um you guys are gonna go crazy because i got some some things in mind for my new intro video okay it's gonna be bomb but I'm like, okay, I want to do an intro video. I want to take this serious. I want it to look professional. Like, I've been doing this shit for years, okay? So, I did my intro video, and it was so dope. Like, so, so dope. Like, it was me. And everybody went crazy over that. People was like, oh, my God. I subscribe to you just because of your intro. I subscribe to you just because your intro. And I just kept getting those comments. Like, your intro is so dope. It's so different. I should, I should subscribe because your intro was so dope. And it's just like, little things like that. People would follow you and want to watch you because of the little things like that. You just never know who who you're going to be inspired by. You know what I mean? And I feel like I inspire you guys so much. And little do you, you guys know, y'all the ones that keeps me going. I promise. Like, y'all comments, y'all DMs. It's, like, so beautiful. And it's, it's, it's just amazing and I feel for every DM when you guys ask for advice I feel for everybody and I try to write people back as much as I can and let them know like how I started and what I did but you know everybody's story is different and everybody's situation is going to be different it's not going to be the same but I try to 
encourage you guys tell my story to encourage you guys to you know keep going like you, you can do it like I felt like I couldn't do it at a time so I know for a fact it can happen for you like I literally feel like damn it's gonna take me five 50 years for me to reach reach a level of I guess success or like I made it um and I feel like I haven't made it but like I legit feel like I'm still growing <laughs> and I'm not at my peak yet like I'm 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 like it's levels I'm just leveling and leveling and I feel I feel it like it feels good you know and it's so crazy like I'm just thinking about how it used to be for me when I used to post like subscribe to my channel I'll post like little small clips I will post like little snippets and clips on my Instagram of a makeup tutorial or a hair review and you know just to like okay it's a video up subscribe go like the video go comment um share repost you know and some people never repost it and you know you can't look for people to always support you especially people that you know some people are going to repost some people are not but don't look for a shout out you know you have to make you have to really create your own path and and that's exactly what I did. No one, um, no one gave me no following. No one, I never paid for no following. I never paid for anything. Everything came naturally. And a lot of people was really in shock when they seen my growth. As far as like, the people that was already following me, like the original people that was following me, like friends and, you know, like the people that you just follow, like your main followers or whatever. I feel like once they started to see like damn like my growth like I, I started to get more people watching me I started to get once people started seeing like damn people are starting to watch her it's just like damn like let me start let me hop on a bandwagon and take her serious now don't take me serious now sis you should have been took me serious like this is this it never was a game like this is something that was for real so I feel like the, the old following was just like damn like this is really working out for her. Like, damn, like, this is really... People do not hop on the bandwagon until they feel like a whole bunch of people is. Like, people pop on late. You know what I mean? Like, and that's crazy how social media is now. People do not take you serious until you got this whole... You can start to get so many people to, to, to watch you and things like that. People don't take you serious. That's why you gotta take yourself serious. To know like I got this you know what I'm saying like I don't need nobody I nobody helps me literally to get where I'm at I don't get no fucking help okay let's get that straight I made this path I made this everything by myself I didn't ask for no shout outs from nobody or anything like I legit made created my own wave and here I am still creating and reaching more new people and you know growing I still feel like I'm growing it's, it's it's still levels to where I'm trying to go but I'm so thankful that you know I've, I've reached I am where I am I definitely feel like no one was really seeing my growth and when you guys DM me I, that's why I got so emotional it's because it's just like I've 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 feel that I feel for you like I legitly do because I just felt like I wasn't getting no fucking where <laughs> like I'm just like when is people are going to see me and I definitely feel like YouTube definitely helped a lot especially because I remember I don't do as much as freelance makeup as I used to but um you know i did make up from home when i was living with my mom and you know i took my clients from home people would come and get their makeup done by me and i even felt like i didn't have a chance then i felt like i was doing makeup for a minute and i felt like i needed i needed i needed to grow a little bit more i wanted to be on a different level as far as traveling doing makeup you know, I don't want to just be doing home makeup from home forever. I want to travel and work with celebrities. And, you know, I feel I just feel like, damn, I, got, I have it. Like, I have the talent. Like, I got it. Like, I can do this. 
I had a chance to do an artist, um, which was, uh, I'm not gonna even gonna say the name, but I, if you guys wanna know a story time of what happened, then let me know down below, but I will talk about that in a different video. I, I eventually started feeling like, okay, I don't wanna do uh, freelance makeup no more, like I'm over it. The last time that I felt that way was like two years ago. It was on New Year's Eve and I started to do, um, I did New Year's Eve makeup every year. And I was in school for aesthetics. I met this girl in school. She was at, uh, actually opening up, opening up her own, you know, like beauty bar type of business. And I'm like, oh wow, this is something, you know, that I want to do for real, like open my own business. I was so inspired by her. We talked about everything. She said, yeah, you can actually come and do makeup at a booth if you want to. And one of my, we have uh, makeup booths and so you can do it um, at my, you know, at my business if you want to. Uh, and, you know, New Year's came came along and I'm like oh this would be really good for New Year's I don't have to do makeup from home for New Year's and you know sometimes I want to be in a different space I don't want to always do it from home so I said cool dope I had people that booked with me and come to find out on that day literally nobody showed up don't you know how embarrassing that was for me I'm at a whole establishment at a business and people were freaking people was like literally canceling on me every freaking second and then some people wouldn't even wouldn't even like respond back to text messages respond back to dm like are you coming i need to know so i can put somebody in front of you like you know like nope it was just a complete disaster i was so excited i'm like oh my god my first time doing this i'm actually at a booth this is something i always wanted to do work at you know outside from home work at a you know an actual place and after that i think that's where i lost hope in doing makeup for people after that it was just like i mean like not not one person came y'all like not one person showed up and you know they you know they came and got me from the place and you know how you know she's just always trying to make me feel better she's just like you know don't worry about it you're gonna be fine like you know like god has something else planned for you like this this is you're gonna be fine like people are gonna wish one day people are gonna wish you know you got makeup done by them so i'm just like y'all was so fucking hurt <laughs> i was so fucking hurt to the point where i'm just like fuck makeup fuck everybody no nope, not one person may not ask me to do their makeup ever again like i'm not doing it and i feel like after that i let go of doing makeup and i probably only did makeup for people that like i think i knew like like one of my friends wanted to come by and get their face done for a special occasion um but other than that it was just like <sighs> i'm done it's <laughs> this is it for me it's a wrap okay like and then that's when i even i even got i got so discouraged i'm like what the fuck nothing's working so then another situation happened where i'm like okay at the time i was you know trying to find a job and you know freelance being a makeup artist that was like my side hustle. I was always a hustler. I was always making money where I was installing wigs. You know, um, I started to sell synthetic wigs, installing those. People come to get their wigs installed. Like I was always like hustling on the side. Like that was just my thing. And um, I was just trying to make a brand out of myself, make something out of myself with doing something on the side. So then I was trying to you know work at makeup counters and let me tell you guys about that work trying to work at a makeup counter was so fucking hard for me and you would think that it wouldn't have it wouldn't have uh been as hard you know what i mean but it was so draining and frustrating like i applied to so many makeup counters and i never got hired 
never got hired at a makeup counter and I was trying to work at Macy's I literally did every application at Macy's I did uh, Bare Minerals I did uh, Bobby Boss I did um, Lancome I did Chanel I did Mac I did um, uh, NARS I, so many counters in every single last counter at Macy's makeup counter I did I um I did my application for it and they would never reach back. Um I would I have had like three interviews and I never gave up. I had like three interview three to five interviews probably at Macy's, um at two different Macy's, um, and never got hired. And I thought like damn I have this talent and nobody want me. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why can't I get hired at these places? Like, I'm not understanding what don't I have. You know what I mean? And the people that work at Sephora and Alta and stuff like that, like, I used to go in these places. I'd be like, they try to help me. I'm like, no, you need help from me, sis. Like, them workers that they hired literally did not, didn't look like they know what they was doing. So I'm just like, why are they hiring people that don't know what they're doing? They don't, don't, they don't know how to help people match their skin complexion in here. Why are you here? How did you get hired, sis? Like, how did this happen for you? And it ain't happening for me. And I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> That's how I felt. I'm like, this is completely crazy. Like, I don't even know how these people are getting hired. And um, I just had so many crazy experiences with jobs trying to get hired and I also tried to do an Alta I also tried Alta Beauty um, I actually went in for the the interview this was actually after I was done with aesthetic school when I graduated from aesthetics I, I'm thinking like okay I, on my resume I can say I went to school for aesthetics you know uh, I know skincare plus I know makeup freelance makeup artist you know I got it you know and that didn't work <laughs> at all um i did the the interview and everything i felt like i had it like i felt like the the guy that were the guy that was interviewing me really liked me come to find out he actually called me to tell me that i wasn't hired and i'm just like wow like whoa i usually don't even get calls to tell me that i'm not hired i usually just get an email that says like oh sorry um you know we moving on to another candidate or whatever sorry um you know how that is when you don't get hired for a job but he actually called and told me like oh sorry you know you're not you're not hired we went on to someone else and it y'all that broke my heart like so much i just felt like i was i constantly was getting knocked down like knocked down like knocked down bitch <laughs> like so many times i just felt like nothing was just it was nothing for me i felt like nothing was for me i felt like it was no place for me and i actually i even went out my way to make a portfolio with all of my client work i did i made a portfolio for mac i believe came in with a portfolio to show my work what i can do they looked at me like i was crazy like I had something in front of my, like I had some fucking shit on my face or something. Like it was so weird. I was always getting hired for like, like, like clothing stores, like in for, for clothes. Like I, I was like getting for, like, I worked at Forever 21. I worked at Zara. I worked at Target. Um, I worked at Banana Republic. I worked at fucking <sighs> everything you could think of. I worked at White House Black Market. That was like my, my first clothing store job job period white house black market like i worked in every freaking clothing store you can think of and let me tell you something i always i always had a passion for fashion fashion was my thing i did go to school for um fashion marketing and management um so fashion i feel like i never talked to you guys about my fashion like anything considering fashion it was always makeup but fashion was like my first love before makeup i just want to say that right after high school i did go to the art institute for fashion marketing and fashion was like still is like as you guys can see i love i love clothes i love the style that's just my thing fashion and makeup is 
we here okay but um i was always getting higher for that but i wanted to get into makeup like i wanted to i was so tired of working with clothes i wanted to experience something different and it just never worked out for me and i thought that maybe if i worked at target they would place me in the beauty aisle but they didn't <laughs> they put me right upstairs with the damn clothes and i'm just like what the fuck <laughs> why are you guys not putting me with the makeup and let me tell you guys i had i was i had a beef face every single last freaking day okay i had a beat every day wearing uniform wearing a target uniform red shirt khaki pants and people used to ask me like girl like why are you wearing makeup every day and you know a lot of people didn't understand it but i didn't care and I used to always ask, like, okay, can I, you know, work downstairs? Can I work in the makeup department? I was, you know, begging my managers to put place me there, but they didn't place me there. And I'm just like, what the fuck? God, give me a sign. Can you tell me why I'm not even able to get into makeup? Like, work in the makeup area. Like, I'm just not able to get there. And the people that worked in the makeup department, some of them didn't even wear makeup every day not saying that you're supposed to wear makeup every day um because you're in makeup but it's just like you know you have to fit what you what you're working for i just always felt like fit what you work for and i feel like if they would have seen me in an aisle with a beat face of course who's not gonna speak who's not gonna ask for help in a makeup aisle like, I'm going to talk to someone that has a beef face, that looks like they know what they're doing, that looks like they're going to know what they're talking about to help me. I look like, you know, I knew what I was doing if I was to work in that department. But God, honestly, truly had a, um, he had a different plan for me. And I truly, really believe that God had something else planned for me. He did. And, um, you guys, I was, like, trying to... During this time, of all these times, I was in the, in the stage of trying to um, save up to buy a camera and save up to buy a MacBook because that was, I feel like, okay, I've tried working with my phone, like, my first video I did was on my phone for YouTube, and it just, it didn't, it just wasn't gonna work out for me, it just didn't last, so I'm like, okay, I need to... Hurry up and get a camera, save up, get a camera. You know, it gets expensive, you know what I'm saying? Them nine to five jobs act like they can't give you freaking hours and, you know, it's just it's just a lot. I, w I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Okay, if I buy a camera, I'm not gonna have no money left over. It's just so much to think about. You got this to do, this to, to do, and then it's like you want to invest in yourself, but it's just so hard sometimes to invest in yourself. But I'm telling you, like, investing in yourself is, like, the best thing you can ever freaking do. The best thing you can do for yourself is to invest in, invest in yourself. Like, believe in, your, in yourself and invest in yourself. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. I promise you. And then, of course, eventually I was, you know, able to get my camera. I met my amazing girlfriend. And during this time, um, we did meet when I was going through a lot, a lot of this. So, she remembers... Um, what was going on so she knows like everything that was going on with me you know trying to to make it and make something out of myself and just brand myself and she just was just like ever since she met me she was like I just I just know you have it like you have the talent like not only are you good at makeup but you're so good at, at so many things like a lot of you guys don't know um, but um, I do know how to sketch clothes. I, I'm good at sketching, but I really wasn't good at making, like sewing the clothes, but I was good at drawing and sketching the clothes. I started at 10 years old sketching, um, and of course, you know, it didn't look great at 10 years old, but I actually learned myself how to sketch clothes. And I just got, I got, I got better and better every year. And every time I sketch something a piece, I'll put my age, I'll put the date and everything. It just makes me want to go back to where I, I started. Like, I want to get back into fashion. I want to get back into everything that I was into. Like, I, I just felt like I'm, I was so much creative then. And I want to get back into, like, that whole creative thing. So, I definitely want to get back in tune with 
lyric you know before i made dollface lyric <laughs> but i want to get in tune back with what i used to do because i miss it and i just feel like being so creative being having a passion for so many things can be so much and sometimes because you feel like damn like okay I ha when can i make room for this and when can i make room for that it's like you feel like you're kind of like everywhere with so many different things you want to do so it's like sometimes you feel like you can't focus on so many things you feel like you can only focus on one thing but i definitely I'm, I'm definitely going to train my mind to get into everything that i've used to do and you know i feel like it's a lot of stuff that you guys don't know i can do and i want to share um a lot more of my fashion side with you guys yeah i definitely was sketching my ass off honey i was just you know at first i thought i wanted to be a wedding designer because the first thing i started to do was i just grab i used to grab magazines and sketch what i see in the magazine and it was like i had a lot of like wedding books like wedding magazines and i would just sketch a whole lot of dresses a whole bunch of dresses just dresses 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 and I thought, like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a wedding designer and I'm gonna be sketching for designers. I'm gonna be sketching for, uh, I'm gonna be sketching for everybody. Like I'm gonna be top notch, you know? And that was the first thing that I ever started to do. And then I got into everything else. And that's what made me want to go to school for fashion. I love every, 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 every single one of you guys, like, you guys are the reason why I'm standing this tall and you are you guys are the reason why I'm like continuing to grow and you know do what I can do you know what I mean <laughs> and um, back to basically I guess like how how I started and you know like what advice could I give and the best the best advice I can give is honestly just being yourself like do not act like you have to be the certain person because you're on youtube like you have to be a different person and not really yourself and i feel like um you have to sound this type of way you have to put on like this this type of voice like you don't have to do that like you honestly don't because people can read when you're real when you're genuine like people can some people can really feel that you know what i'm saying and i stay true to myself since day one since i started and turned on this camera i stay true to myself i believed in myself i believed in my growth and um i just never felt like i needed to to sound like nobody or act like anybody like i just feel like that's just like that's not even cool like i'm not gonna do that that's just not me you know i want to i want people to accept me for me i want people to know who who i really am you know what i mean because you just never know like i said who you're going to inspire so that's the reason why i say just stay true to yourself you know someone it's a lot of people that not gonna like you this is probably people that don't like me but still watch me it's just like people are weird like that okay People like you and then don't like you, but it, it that doesn't matter. You got real people. I feel like I honestly have real ass people that watch me. So many, some of you, some of y'all are just so freaking nice. Y'all are so sweet, and that's the reason why I want to interact with you guys and respond back to messages, talk to you guys on here. Um, you know what I mean? Like I just feel like that's so important because if it wasn't for y'all, where would I be? Y'all are so important to me in my life. Like, I'm not just saying that. It means everything to me. The best thing that you can do is be yourself. Um, stand out because there's a ton of people that's doing the same thing you're doing. There's people that's doing hair reviews. There's people that's doing makeup tutorials. There's people that's doing fashion hauls, vlogs. All of those things and above, people are doing. But what is it going to make you stand out? Like, what's going to make you stand out? And I have to question myself one day. Someone actually asked me this. Like, what makes you stand out from everybody else? And I always, and the one thing that I can say is, I feel like, I always felt like I was different. Like, in my soul, in my spirit, in my gut, I honestly feel like I'm different from every, in everybody. And 
and it's not to put on this like this front like oh i'm better than you it's not like that i just have like that energy like i just know i got it like i can do this like you know you gotta you gotta be confident in yourself i do my makeup different i talk to you guys differently everything is just different 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 because i just feel like i'm just different from a lot of different people and you know everybody's story is different my story is different from other people's i don't know like i just it's just this feeling in me and i feel like when you do start your channel you have to be different say for instance you have somebody you're inspired by me for example or any beauty influencer out there okay you like the way they do their videos you want don't but don't actually be like okay i want to talk just like that person i want to be able to you know look just like that person like you're not gonna look like that person you're not gonna be able to probably do videos just like that person make it into your own like every time i do my makeup i feel like i'm making it into my own i don't try to, to do it the same way as somebody else do theirs but it can be inspiring you might you know what i'm saying like oh, okay i see you do it that way let me change it up and make and do it my way you get what i'm saying like be inspired but don't try to be like anyone else be yourself that's it so crazy look like while i'm talking about this it's so crazy um i was actually talking to my girlfriend about this and um i was already thinking this but when i had got this certain comment it made me think about it even more someone said like oh like uh what did they say i'm like damn like maybe i should ask my subscribers you know what i'm saying like i don't know <laughs> it made me think even more like somebody said i only i don't even watch a lot of gay i don't i don't I don't really watch a lot of gay subscribers, YouTube, a lot of gay women or whatever, but I watch you in so-and-so, so-and-so. For some reason, like, you guys are so-and-so, so-and-so. It made me think, like, okay, do just, like, because of who I am and because I... Um, with the girl like I have a girlfriend or you guys know like now if you, you everybody should know this by now I have a girlfriend you know and I am who I am and it just made me think like do some people not follow me do some people not follow me because I am gay and then some people don't want to follow me because I am gay or they don't want to look at that because you know how people is it's just like it just makes me wonder about so many different things it's just like i was already thinking i'm just like i wonder is like my subscribers um a part of the community or a lot of them are straight so i do want to know this because that made me think like damn like okay do people watch like really enjoy watching me because or some people don't want to watch me because I am this person or you know what I'm saying like I feel like a lot of people watch people watch certain people because they can relate and I feel like a lot of girls women that look like me probably can't relate to dating a woman and I feel like a lot of people when they look at me it's like they feel like oh she date a guy like she's with a guy but I'm really with a female so it's just it's just I don't know I just I just thought about it I've been thought, uh, thinking about it once I got that comment it really made me think I'm like let me ask my subscribers like what's up with that like I want to know it's just interesting man um I, I don't know if this I don't know if this stops people from watching me because I am who I am but I'm not going to stop being who I am to please certain people like that's not gonna happen if you don't like who I am, if you don't like who I date, if you don't like the fact that I'm with a female, you can't, you can't, you don't understand it, or it's just like, oh, like, uh, like, too much for you to watch, then don't watch me, you know what I mean? Like, I need real, true supporters, seriously. And I need people that's gonna love me unconditionally, uh, through whatever, you know what I mean? So, it's just, I actually thought about that, like, damn, like, okay. When straight women or straight men do that stop them, whoever gave me, whoever watches me, I love everyone. 
like do that stop them from wanting to be on my channel watch my channel you know what i'm saying you know just questions here and there not no biggie no big deal i definitely want to know like what type of following do i have do i have some lesbians out there like do i have some bisexual women like i want to know do i have some gay men that watches me straight men that watches me i want to know what's tea honey <laughs> because I love everybody and you know I just feel like sometimes straight women don't understand me or I just feel like some of them just don't understand the gay community or just like just don't understand period it is so irky I want to actually talk about that in a different video so if you want to know you know so if you guys are interested in watching that then let me know if you want me to do that video of me talking about it like because honey some of y'all can be so annoying sometimes so this basically wraps it up for the video i hope really 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 hope you all enjoyed and you found some type of inspiration from this i just really wanted to like open up with you all because i feel like i don't open up and i do open up i want to be able to open up a little bit more this year and especially on instagram i feel like i'm more open on my youtube than i am on instagram and it just let it's just you know it takes time and and um things like that so i know i'll get there but i really really love you all so so much and i just really wanted to get in front of the camera do my makeup make myself feel good and just talk to you guys on where my head is at what i'm thinking what i want to do and just give you back history of my me myself and what you know i've been through and that to keep your faith no matter what keep believing in yourself when nobody else does believe in you and i know that sometimes it's hard like it's better it's it's better saying than actually doing i trust me believe me i know sometimes it's a struggle but um i hope that some part of this video touched you in some type of way i just know that god has a plan for you god has a plan for everybody and um i'm just so happy that i'm able to influence so many people and still influencing people and god still has more plans for me it ain't over yet he still got so much in store for me and i just know it i feel it just keep that faith and i'm just so happy that i'm able to put on makeup and or just just be so inspired and people can learn from me from doing my makeup and you guys be like oh like because of you i can do this right now or because of you i know how to do my makeup and it just it just feels so good like little stuff like that feels amazing and i'm just so happy i'm so grateful and like you're gonna be able to you're gonna survive you're gonna be able to do it girl you're gonna be be here okay you got it i love you i love all of you and i'll see you baby dolls in my next video